up, guys? It's a silvery day here in Malibu, a little bit overcast. This is vlog 646, still driving the massive Nissan Titan XD. This truck is so big, it needs its own zip code, but it's already about 1145. I've had a few meetings this morning, spent the morning working. I even took a bike ride, but I didn't want to waste this vlog on me scooting around on my bike. Why? Because right now, I'm headed out to Silver Star Mercedes-Benz, a thousand oaks. I'm gonna be hooking up with my buddy, Sean Tidlawi, and we're gonna be driving something spectacular. You wanna know what it is? You wanna know what it is? Yeah, you're gonna have to wait, buddy. We're here at Silver Star Mercedes in Thousand Oaks, trying to decide which car we're gonna drive. Sean is checking out a couple of models, but the one we were gonna drive, it's pretty cool, but there might be something even cooler and a lot more expensive. Here we are again at Silver Star, Mercedes-Benz, a thousand oaks. What's up, Sean? What's up? <laughs> um, I, I was just I was just walking around. I was just looking around, and I, I found something, and it, it was just sitting there. So I grabbed it. I just thought maybe, you know, if, if nobody was was doing anything with it, then we could we could do something with this. Oh. I just found it. You know, okay. I just thought, you know, if we steal it. I mean, is it something cool? I, I I'm not really sure. You have to tell me okay. what this is. Well, let's, let's I know go. it's going to be expensive. Hmm. Look at it. Yep. Tell me what it is. Ooh. How'd you find this? <laughs> I don't know. It was just randomly sitting around. I just picked it. It was on the floor. It was on the ground. Huh. No, no. It really wasn't on the ground. And yeah, you get in trouble for you that. You get me nervous there. <laughs> We're going to drive something very serious today. Um, what is this called? This, my friend, is a 2017 S65 Cabriolet. Yeah, the one, so one of the cheap ones. Uh, yeah, very. Not even close. No. <laughs> you wanna know how expensive this is? You're about to find out. God, it's got its own TV screen. It's like a, a jet fighter. Two TV screens. Oh, it's got two TV screens. Wow. Let's go. Let's roll. As always, hanging out with the Ted Lowey, this guy right here, means that we're gonna drive something truly spectacular here at Silver Star. But why this thing? Why this particular car? We're gonna answer that as, as long as Sean can get out of the lot without hitting anything. <laughs> it's kind of nerve wracking. Tyler 
title of this episode, Two Idiots in a Mercedes. <laughs> we are in a, a spectacular car here. Um, uh, these cars are head and shoulders above normal cars. Correct. On a lot of levels. Uh, this is not like a $100,000 Mercedes, although you could get one of those, right? True. Okay. Very true. But it's also not like a $200,000 Mercedes, which you could probably get one of those also. Very correct. This one is actually north, I don't know if you can actually say this, north of a quarter of a million dollars. That is very true. He is really nervous driving this car. <laughs> Where can we go with this thing? Should we think about it? Let's think about it. do you sell? It's a very, very unique piece of machinery. I'd say probably one or two a year, no more than that. Now, in order to, if I were to slap down some, some cash for this car right now, what do I? What would I have to do to get into one of these things? How much? 260 something. I mean, I, you can't, I, you're not gonna give me a special fireball discount or anything like that? Like maybe $200,000 off the record. <laughs> Come on, man, I, I'm talking cash right now. How much you want? $3,000. Make a deal. Huh? It gives you ease of access, like in some weird. I was gonna say it just makes the car look cooler, and that's that's <laughs> worth a $40,000 option. I pay that. This car has this Tronic Plus, and the car will match the speed of the car in front of me. So it'll do exactly what the car in front of you is doing? Correct. So if that car slows down, this car will slow down. Does that mean you can take your hands off the wheel? I'm actually, there is a little light that says I can, but I, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Just tried it, and it blew our mind because it actually worked. This is so cool. Oh, it's working now, so he's not even touching. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Will it take us to a cookie place? That's kind of what I was wondering. Sean has never experienced autonomous driving, and um, he's kind of freaking out a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Just, you know, in a positive way, of course. And we are looking for, uh, there is some kind of watery thing on the map. Can we, did we pass it? So we went down here. This is the water district, but they wouldn't let us in. They didn't trust Sean. Did this, Sean? Yes. Look at this. That's just freaking cool, man. Man, that's crazy. I'm behind the wheel of this Mercedes now, and I gotta tell you, this thing is legit. It wants to go, and uh, if you're not careful, it certainly will. We, we never know where we're gonna end up. We're at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library. Yeah. Uh, you know what, I didn't even know, I knew this was up here, but I didn't know what it looked like. It's actually pretty cool. It certainly has a great view. 
There's little banners of all the presidents as we go. This is presidential row. I guess we're we're on in the important car. car but kind of smooth much different than the GT mm -hmm. 671 horsepower and over 700 foot-pounds of torque it's a beast it's a beast it's nice um, I got so excited I'm trying to come down a little bit so I decided why don't we go to the Donut Depot <laughs> This one, serious beast. Thanks a lot, Johnny. My that pleasure. Was awesome. <laughs> Look how fabulous. He always looks so good. At... <laughs> I think I just get a little darker. It's the, it's the, I don't know what it is. <laughs> of all the cars that we've driven over the years, and we've done a lot of cars, mm -hmm. uh, what has been your favorite? I would think for convertibles. Yeah, you, you have so a thing. So can I be like, this one over here? <laughs> you can have that one. I'm just saying. We'll talk to Scott, but I'm pretty sure you can have that one. I appreciate it today. That was awesome. Well, that was a blast. Uh, big thanks to Sean at uh, Silver Star. Not only was that car incredibly powerful, but when the top was up, you, you couldn't even hear it. It was one of the quietest cars I think I've ever driven. And certainly, at over $260,000, the most luxurious.